Jesus said in the, in the homosexual issue, a response should be, like Jesus said, through loving kindness have I drawn you. We have people at our church who, who are 100% homosexual. They're completely delivered and cured now of that. It's because through loving kindness have we, we ministered loving kindness to them. We didn't condemn them, nor did we sanction it either. But we did it the way Jesus said do it. We, we gave, showed them love. We did follow up on the phone with them. What can we do to help you? Where are you at right now? How do you feel right now? Have you studied the word? Have you prayed? Have you fasted? You accepted Jesus. Do you, do, you, do you believe that God loves you? See, there's a follow-up in, into this. You just can't jump on them and call them nasty, dirty names. Okay? They've had enough of that, many of them. They already know they're dealing with some stuff. Some of them want to come out and change. But you cannot jump down on them and beat them down because there are already many of them already uh, beat down. You know, they have the highest rate of, of suicide of anybody in any community in the world. And Jesus said he wants to see nobody perish, okay? And, and our job is to love and kindness to help them. Pray for them. Pick one particular one. Make that your project. Pray for John or Ted or, or Marie or, or Alice and say, God, I'm going to pray for this one person who found themselves into this lifestyle that I personally don't agree with according to the scriptures. God, we know what you think about it, but God, give me the wisdom. In all our ways, acknowledge God, him. He'll direct our path. Because if we pound down on a person's head, a, a, a wise old preacher told me one time, he said, if people don't like you, they're not going to like the Jesus you represent. See? So you have to show them the way Jesus, when he went to the, the well there with Mary Magdalene and he could have said, oh, you dirty, nasty thing. You know what you are. You're going to hell in a handbasket. First of all, there's no handbasket in the book, in the Bible, for people going to hell in it. So <laughs> he, could have, he could have told you, you're going to hell, you, you nasty this, that, and the other. But he showed her love. He showed her where she was wrong, and he showed her where she could be right if you follow him. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the water, the well that springs up. So the, the way for us to do the homosexual, is to show them love the way Jesus did, okay? Love the way he did. They'll protest. Some people protest. But the pick of signs, there are times when they're trying to, anybody trying to force something down our throat, we have a right to stand up. Yes, we do. We have a right to stand up. But then there's a group that's not trying, that are still living their life against God, and you minister them, you've got to show them the, the love, the way that Jesus would do it. Because you're not, you may miss them. You may miss them because if you don't use wisdom, wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the key. God will show us how to minister to them and show you what to say. You know, you can only say so much. You only get one opportunity. It's like pulling the trigger on a gun. You can't go and pull that bullet back. You may only get one shot at this. So when God gives us the word to say at our church and not patting our church on the back, but I thank God he's given us wisdom how to win them, and we've done it through love. We've helped them. We never condemned them one time. Oh, I told them that their lifestyle is not of God, but I don't jump on them and condemn them and beat them down because they won't come back. They'll never come back, but they bring their friends, and their friends start to listen and learn, and they see that, that the Bible is to help them. It ain't for your lifestyle as far as going to heaven. You can't, we tell them, you can't go to heaven like that. We can't. You can't go to heaven like that. You've got to be converted all the way around, and you do it through love and kindness. Through love and kindness, have we drawn. So I, my advice to the body of Christ, if you show them love, pick one and pray for them. Make that your project, saying, God, they messed up, they need help. Make that your project. And every day, watch how God changes that person's around. Then they'll open up to you and say, do you think my lifestyle is right or wrong? They've opened up to you. Now you can tell them. You know, Mary, no, according to the Bible. But you first got to draw them first. You first got to draw them in. If you don't draw them in, if you're hollering and banging them in the head with a hammer from across the street, I wouldn't come either. You know? So that's how we do it, to the body of Christ, to love. Love them. Pray for them. Intercede for them. Say, God, I see what they're doing. Give them an opportunity to hear from you. If I'm, too, if I'm wrong in my approach... As a, as a Christian, God, 
help me in my approach. Because sometimes our approach can be we want to help them so bad that we go overboard in the wrong way. See, it's okay to go overboard if you're on a ship. If you're, if you're a skin diver, you're going overboard to try to rescue somebody. But if you can't swim, you better not go overboard. <laughs> you're going to drown. See, so we don't want people to, to, to go overboard and then drown and can't get back. You go out there and get them, and then you get into a physical fight with them, you're going overboard. Or if they're cursing you out, and, 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 and you, because you start cursing them first, and now they're paying you back cursing for cursing, as a Christian, you're going overboard. If you can't minister to them without losing your cool, you're going overboard. So I think it's in our approach how we get to them, and mainly through love and kindness.